Hi guys. So I want to um, do an outfit of the day before I do my hot topic. Um, I wanted to show you guys what I have on and what I decided to wear. I don't want you to see my bed. You probably can't. But yeah, this is what I have on. It's, I told you my camera quality is like a piece of schnicks. But yeah, I have on. I got this little <coughs> duster type vest thing from Walmart. It's pretty cheap. It was like $12 or something. I got on a regular tank and my Avon Viv um, Bermuda shorts and my favorite sandals, my Steve Madden sandals. I, um, these are my favorite. I had these for like uh, years, probably like almost eight years now. But yeah, and then my hair is in a ponytail and then I have some cute, you probably can't see, but whatever. Yeah, this is what I'm wearing today. Um, I'm going to go pick up my son. But yeah, my stomach is getting flatter. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you have babies. But I'm getting down. I'm not that skinny. But yeah, let me um, talk to you guys before the flash decides to come on. Which was on when I tried to record. So I'm going to talk to you guys about Sephora. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't vlog at all today because I've been so busy. I, I went walking, but let's not talk about that. I'll vlog that maybe in the car. Sorry, I'm sitting with my phone. It's uncomfortable. Okay, so hi guys. So yeah, it's Ashley, your girl. I'm back with a video about, which is my hot topic of discussion. Now, I told you guys before, I thought I was like the only one who felt like this, but obviously I was not. So I didn't feel, I was like, okay, so something is, um, <clears throat> something has to go stop with this whole customer service. And I'm talking about, as you all know, Sephora. I've spent so much money in Sephora. Um, it's ridiculous. And I've had... Let me count how many bad experiences I had. And I'm talking about a specific Sephora in Florida and Jacksonville. Like, when I was in Philadelphia, I never had a bad experience. They always treated me with respect. They always, you know, took their time. When I spent, you know, even if I only spent, like, $60 or if I spent 25 or $30, they still took their time out and gave me the proper customer service. And the first thing I want to say is, <clears throat> let me count how many times I had a bad experience. I had two good experiences as many times as I want. I should have got my receipt. That's how many times I can count how many bad experiences that I've had. But the last three ex experiences that I had with Sephora were really bad. And one of them was to the point I had to file a complaint. And I'm not the type of person, I don't like to see people lose their jobs or had that on their, um, you know, their record because I know how that feels, you know, when you're in the customer service, especially when you got a family feed, jobs are hard to come by, but, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I'm very nasally and congested, but I really felt like that was just drawing the line with me. So what happened one day, and mind you, I was spending like, I spent like, I think, I want to say like almost, yeah, I spent almost $300 in there. And I felt like they were rushing me because I wanted to know, like, I, I'm going to talk about the makeup. Like, I'm real particular about my makeup. My, I know my skin. I know I have acne-prone, oily skin. So, even if I didn't have this hormone stuff, like, my hormones were balanced, my skin would still be considered oily. I don't have, I never had, even when I was younger, I always had oily skin. So, I know my skin type. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I like to try different things, but the only thing with me, since I had my son, I can't deal with fragrance. Like, anything that has, not like, net, like the chemical fragrance that they, the stuff that they put in there already is, has a, a smell, but it's not like a perfume fragrance. I can't deal with perfume fragrances anymore due to my <clears throat> sinus issues and... I don't know, it just gives me a headache, and I just can't deal with it anymore. And then sometimes I don't know if I'm going to react to it. I don't know if it's going to make my skin itch. I don't know. So I don't like to take the chances of, if anything, in their ingredients, you know, they'll say, oh, it's all natural, et cetera, et cetera. Like Merit, I think that's the name of the product. Merit, it has good reviews, 
but <clears throat> it's not natural it has actual per they put perfume in their um products and um i just can't deal with that like i know origins is a little more they 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 put a little fragrance in their stuff um but i've tried a couple of those their things that weren't unbearable for me but i'm a type of person i like all natural things like pure natural ingredients um the only facial line that i use from support like from you know that's a high higher end cosmetic is clinique because that's the only thing that really keeps my acne down and helps you know take some of these blemishes away and by you can tell i haven't used it in months so my face has broken out i have blemishes so i have to go get my bar but anyway back to the subject so yeah, I spent a I spent a good grip in there, and most of the stuff that I brought was like facial stuff, like you know stuff that I really needed for my face. And I just didn't like the customer service there. I didn't like how they was kind of like rushing me. They didn't want to talk to me. They was just trying to throw. They weren't listening to what I was. My concerns were. They weren't trying to hear you know certain things. They was like, well, you should try this, this, and they weren't really listening to the detail that I wanted them to talk to me about. And then. So I wound up just, I did my research on what I wanted and I wound up getting exactly, <clears throat> I was actually going to purchase the Murad, I think it's the acne treatment system and it was like for three months I think, it was a $65 one. I was actually going to purchase it. I had it in my like hand and then I went to the Clinique side and then the lady was like, well, da -da 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 basically that's what she was doing to me and I was just like, I don't want to hear this. I'm explaining it to you woman. I cannot use fragrance stuff because it it inflames my sinuses, number one, and it might irritate my skin. My skin is already problematic. I already have hormone issues, and I just need something that's going to cleanse my face, not be harsh, and get all the dirt, makeup, whatever I need. Well, I use to remove my makeup. I use Garnier. It's something. I forget what it's called. It, I buy that from the drugstore. It's like a cream, but it has um, salicylic acid in it. And it really helps my face after I wear makeup. And I use um, jojoba oil to remove, first to break down the makeup. And then I put the Garnier Fructis. I forget what it's called. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I just didn't like that. And then, <clears throat> like, she didn't walk me. She didn't give me any samples or anything. Usually, like, I've experienced, like, when you spend a certain amount of money and they know you want to spend some money, they usually like, oh, why don't you just try this, try that. They didn't give me jack. So I didn't, I didn't like that, but I, and I'm not going to say it had anything to do with my, my color of skin, because I don't think it has anything to do that, do with that, because it's white people that experience bad experience and so forth as well. I'm not the only one, so I don't, I'm not going to use this as a race card, because it has nothing to do with race. It's about poor customer service, period, because you don't know if I'm half white, half black, you don't know if I'm half Spanish, half, you don't know what I am. I could be Indian all you know, and you just assuming I'm black, but I'm, you know, that's neither here, but... So that was the one experience. So I went back in because I wanted to try a new foundation. <clears throat> um, I really like Clinique and I heard that they had like a um, matte foundation. And I'm not like in the summertime I use matte foundations. In the, like the fall and winter time when it's cooler down here I can go with a non. It doesn't have to be matte. I just have to set it with a powder. So I went in there because I already used the Makeup Forever HD Ultra HD foundation. And I pr I like it in the lighter months, but I it's dark. It's not it's like my skin tone now. So when it starts to get like in the winter months, I get really light. So I go to I have another foundation. But anyway, I I think I'm not telling the right story. I don't know what. It was one incident I purchased. Oh, how could I forget? It was on my birthday. Yes, it was in January. It was on my birthday. And I went to Sephora. And that was the incident that happened a few months ago. I think it happened in June. It might have been June. Yeah, it, it was either June or July when that incident happened. With the whole lady rushing me about my skincare. That's how I felt. I felt rushed. And I felt like, oh, well, she's in that, you know, we don't want her. It's like... You know, that's how I felt about that experience. But this, the experience that really bothered me where I had the complaint was when I, it was on my birthday, actual birthday, my actual birthday, a friend of my, one of my girlfriends, um, gave me a gift card and I was like, oh, you know, I can purchase some new foundation, you know, 
or maybe something else. You know, I was like, maybe I'm trying a new lipstick or something. So I went in there, um, and I like to get my skin matched. Not all the time, but for the most part, like when I know when I want, if I'm going to buy foundation, I always get my skin matched. I don't care. I know it's a pain in the ass and it's annoying, but I have to because my skin changes so much throughout the year down in Florida. So, I have to get my skin matched because I'm the type of person, if I'm a real anal about my my foundation matching right here. If it doesn't match, I don't, I can't, it just doesn't look good. So, anyway, I went and I, you know, I, I wanted to try a new foundation. I purchased the foundation, I got, you know, the things that I wanted. And, one, I get to the counter, the girl already had an attitude. And I was just like... She didn't even ask me, you know, hey, how you doing? If she, She's always nasty. Every time I go in there, she's nasty. And matter of fact, I think one, only, no, she's always nasty. She always got a nasty face. And maybe she needs to lighten her makeup up. I don't know. She's just nasty. She's got a nasty attitude. She's at the cash register. It's one girl that's really, really nice that, you know, I don't get her. She doesn't, I don't, I got her a couple times, but she was nice at the register. So when I got to the register, she was already nasty. So mind you, I'm standing there purchasing my stuff and they're asking me for the um my Sephora card or I, I think I'm a VIB member. I don't know. Whatever whatever that status is. I know they got like three different statuses. I'm I think I'm in the middle. So I just remember standing there purchasing my stuff and this I don't wanna cuss, but this B I T C mm bump the crap out of me so I'm just like and she works she's an employee there and I look back and I said did this woman just bump me and not even say excuse me so I just I'm just like I said I'm real shy and I was already like kind of not in a good mood so I didn't want to take my mood off on a girl and say anything to her so I just kindly took my stuff they didn't even say thank you, nothing. I took my bag, and I immediately got in my car, and I filed a complaint. I got the girl's name, both of the girls, the cashier name, and the girl that bumped me, and I reported it because, and she still works there. That little winch still works there. And matter of fact, I seen that winch in Walgreens, and the next time I see her and she ain't at her job, I'm going to confront her. I want to say, you know, you're really nasty, and I don't know what, and it's her. It's only this one girl. I'm not going to put her name out there. But every time I go in there, she gives me, she rolls her eyes. She acts like she can't help me. She acts like she can't do nothing for me. She's always pushing me like, oh, well, here, here's your color. Okay, that matches you. And that's it. And she's Spanish. And I don't care. I, yes, I said it. She's Spanish. And she is mean and she got an attitude and I don't like her customer service. She is the rudest thing and she does not need to be working as, in that type of environment if she can't be friendly to her customers. Period. Yeah, I'm that pissed. So, and I've had, that was just the one incident where I felt as though it was just too much because I had an incident with her before and she didn't want to help me. And then I had an incident before because I was actually going to buy, I brought a whole bunch of stuff. This is not the time when I brought the skincare. This was the time before because I needed makeup for my wedding and I, she was like, <clears throat> what happened was they, you know, they, they might come in and say, such and such, can you come to the floor and help her customer, blah, 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 blah. So she came, and she was just nasty, and then she wound up leaving. And then, then the, um this guy came over to me, and he was very nice, sweet, patient. He worked with me. He, you know, he listened to everything I was, you know, my concerns were, what my problematic areas were, and he got it like that. And I'm not saying, like, everybody has to be, like, you know, but when you're in customer service and you're dealing with the public, you have to know how to deal with the public. It could be people that are not that nice. It could be people that are patient. And I'm a patient person because I work in that kind of field where I know how people can be. But it doesn't give you the right to treat your paying customers that actually are putting money in your pocket like shit. Period. So I really, that just disturbed me, you know, going to Sephora. I just, the, you know, and my husband was like, Ashley, just go to a different one. But that's the only Sephora actual, like, just the store. It's not like a um, franchise inside of, like, JCPenney's. Because most of the places down here um, in 
where I live at are in JC Penney's and I know JC Penney the ones that the Sephora's in JC Penney's don't always have everything that the want the actual store like you know have they'll have exclusive things that are different from the actual store and I like to go in the store because I just like to see what's new if I want to pick up a new lipstick or a new you know mascara even though I my holy grail mascara is the um art benefits are they real and the waterproof because I wear contacts and my eyes water a lot so I need mad waterproof mascara like the mascara I'm wearing today I don't have any real makeup on but the mascara that I have on today is the benefit roller but it was a sample and I was just trying I was like let me see how this is maybe I'll go buy it because I, and I think I'm actually gonna buy it but I have to get it in a waterproof form because I'll have Ricky raccoon eyes if I don't wear waterproof mascara and I noticed a couple days ago when I wore it like it was black like the stuff started you know bleeding on my makeup so I was like oh yeah I gotta get waterproof but anyway yeah and that's I mean that was like I felt violated I felt like my space was violated when that girl bumped me you know I didn't appreciate that I didn't like that and I still don't I really to this day I hesitate going to that store like I try to go there when it's no it's like either going to be a quiet day where the traffic is not um high usually if you google like if you google Sephora it'll tell you like when the traffic is high I try to go like when it's quiet because when I my first time actually going there my experience was really good um it was an it was a lady there she was very nice she worked with me but it wasn't crowded but like I said I've been there when it was crowded I've been there when it's not crowded and when it's not crowded they don't pay you no mind you gotta hunt them down and I feel like you know y'all got all these people in the store working why isn't nobody greeting their customers and I had one nice girl I think her name is I want to say her name her name is Katie I had her about two times she was really nice with me I think the last time I went I didn't buy anything I actually wanted to go try some makeup and I actually need to go get the makeup but the thing what happened was <laughs> I got darker and I was like I'm not gonna buy another foundation if I'm gonna I'm eventually get lighter so I'm actually gonna that's my on to do list is to go buy the actual foundation that I tried but she gave me foundations I she said you're allowed to try three and it was only one that I like and the other two I was like this is not for my skin and I'm just like you know like I said back on subject if any of you guys had an experience as before bad good you know comment down below let me know and you know we could chit chat about it you know but I know I wasn't I thought I was crazy I thought I was losing my mind I felt like I was the only one that was going through that but come to find out I am not the only one and this is in different states so this is something that I feel is like I feel as though people like you know us as a customer you know and them as the consumer they should really 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 think and you know monitor the people that they hire and I know makeup artists just like hairstylists like you know it's cliche to say this but like they have a certain type of attitude but that's not I feel like that's that's just being a stereotype which isn't true because I know hairstylists that are very genuine and nice and you know very you know concerned about what the problem is of their client um, same with you know makeup I've came across a few nice girls and like I'm not going to talk about Mac because I really like I said before I don't really purchase things from Mac like that I always know what I want to get and get in and out I don't wear their foundation I mean I have some like I have their um, concealer palette and their mineralized finish but I, I can't use that until I get lighter um, so yeah I have those things but I usually just go in I know what I want and I don't really interact with them like that because, yeah, they're not that nice either. Because I, I did have an experience with one girl and I actually spent like, what, $200 in there and she wasn't the nicest either. So, yeah, on that note, yeah, like I said, if any of you guys have ever had experience, a bad experience in Sephora, let me know. Um, and I feel as though, like, customers should complain, period. I feel like you know something has to change with that whole corporation because that's like a big corporation even though you can go to the department stores and get makeup 
um, there, but I feel like some de the department stores technology is not as advanced as Sephora. They have that new color match thing where they tap the thing and it, it kind of is, is most 90% of the time. No, I'm going to say 80% of the time is accurate. So, yeah, that's my hot topic. I hope all you guys watch and I hope you like it. Um, and just continue to watch. I have more hot topics to talk about. I might just do a hot topic once a week. I have another one coming up soon. Um, and hopefully you guys watch my vlog, my daily vlogs. They're not long. I'm eventually going to branch out and start vlogging when I'm out in public. Um, I just, my camera quality is not that great. It's like if the sun is in the way, you're not, you're just going to see sun glare. So, or it's going to be real dark. So I have to get a better camera, but that's something I have to work to. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you all enjoying if it's rainy, if it's sunny, if it's windy, whatever the weather is in your neighborhood. I hope all you guys have a great day and enjoy it because you are beautiful and you're wonderful. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.